Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon, where I am unfortunately remembering the last time we did lose Dutch, who has a, a proper gravestone, unlike Tim and Pete, who obviously don't deserve that. Maybe it's a level thing, maybe it's just because Tim and Pete don't deserve that. What are we going to do in this episode then? Well, there's absolutely no way we're going to be able to take on that cannon uh, without levelling some more people up and probably doing a lot better than we did in the last one. Why... Why is... Oh. All you three now need to go in for basically fixing of everything. You've got the fits. You've got bad humours, less max HP, which can be pretty bad for Viz, who's going to be in tank mode half the time. So, I think the first thing we'll do is put Bagel... Mm. I'm good at grade that. I mean, that's one of the reasons to get a second slot in most things, is to... It's 11 and 14, that's most of them. Maybe we should do this smoke, however desperate, instead. Never without worth. Because uh, let's put Viz in there. Yeah, that's what we'll do. In fact, I'm hoping that these don't cause them to get used to that. And uh, okay, and then we'll put uh, Doug in for some beer. That costs us a lot of money, but we need to get those three units back in the game. Since we now need a lot of money, we will try and do uh, a run with Ellie again correctly because I finally translated what that illiterate hooligan was telling me in the comments several episodes ago, about in, like nine episodes ago now. If you use the antiquarian to activate the curios, you will get the rare trinkets, the rare uh, antiques. And if the antiquarian is fighting, you will get the the less rare antiques, so that's going to be a lucrative run, but I think what I'm actually going to do is maybe put a little bit of money into unlocking this. I'm not going to upgrade these skills yet, because we can't afford it. We do need to go on a, a mission that we can actually afford to provision for. So these are all long, there's a short one. So we're going on this irrespective of what this is, which to be honest with our occultists, I'm not going to use that. Uh, what's this? Short veteran, medium apprentice, short veteran, medium apprentice. Yes. So this is really the only short apprentice mission, which is all we can afford and what we want to do in order to bring Ellie along. We will bring Mr. Steve for some levels. It's been a while since we took Mr. Steve out, but he did level up very fast. Uh, maybe we will bring Mari. Where are we going? We're going to the ruins. So we want to be able to perform blight damage. So you have got basically exactly what I want here. Yes, you're coming with us. Your heal is okay, and you can cure your own blight and bleed, and you're in the third position, which is perfect. In between. I'm tempted to bring Tim again. He won't be able to iron swan from the second position, but he can heal himself. Or she, this unit can heal themselves. It is a little bit awkward having a unit whose gender is apparently the opposite of the person you talking about who you name them after but that's what happens when you randomly pick people in the order they happen we could also whilst i'm thinking about it go back and see who we can replace dutch with we have 23 or 24 people not too interested in another one of either of those maybe another man we've got two man's arms is that's Holmesy and uh megistos we've got miriam snowland as Houndmasters. so i guess we could bring a level two on our mission here in order to make it a lot easier and more likely that we'll succeed without killing anybody. So what we should actually do is maybe bring Snowlin or Miri instead of Murray. Sorry, Murray. But I've changed my mind completely and you don't get to come. So we'll bring Miri. Miri will be able to do that little bit of extra damage. These are all leveled up to level 2, apart from that one, which is actually kind of nice, but not going to be too big a deal. But we're going to try and spend as little money as possible, which does not involve going for a dark run. Although that's a, possibly a good idea, I'm not going to do it. We will take a stack of food and then keys. Uh, and a couple of shovels because if you don't take shovels, it will be, well, the worst for you. Uh, take a bandage. Trinkets. <laughs> Too late. Every day, I'm going to have to get a little post-it note, stick it on my monitor, and it's going to say, 
Don't forget the GD trinkets. You dumbass. It's going to be a quick run. What are we doing? 100% of room battles. And the seat of well, we definitely have to go to that one because it's got a battle in it. So we'll hope that uh, you're going to try and use that. I bet you do. <sighs> this is why we don't let Mr. Steve the Optimus absolved of a sin. Is that the one that made you... That was the one that made you do that. The thing that you did made you not do the thing anymore. Oh, that is actually really, really valuable. Oh, don't forget to use... Uh, don't forget to use the antiquarian to deal with the... Curios. 100%. Mary Europe. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I'm going to have to get a little post-it note of a pre-flight checklist. As the light gains because you can tell which is my first episode that I haven't recorded. When I haven't recorded in a while because I will forget all of, the, all of how to play the game. Hello, Ellie. Well, I didn't change it. I got you the thing, but I didn't switch it. Again. Checklist. <clears throat> in that case, we'll give everyone the dodge. I really do like this uh, dodge buff, actually. Although, you, you lot are really fast right now. Which is not pleasing me. And you're getting very stressy, so chill out. Right. Uh, versus marked and versus beast. A bleed. And how much damage? Five to eight. We've got a mark. Or we could just attack everything. Two, 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 two. Maybe... I think we want to get rid of at least one of these if we can. Because they're both doing stress and we don't want stress. We can possibly avoid it. Can you not bleed? You bled. Okie dokie. Didn't really bring a healer, you see. I was hoping everyone could heal themselves as necessary, but... Eight. I mean, we could get that one close to death, but I think the best thing to do is try and kill the one that hasn't actually had a go yet and just reduce the amount of shit that happens to us on this turn. I mean, we could prot ourselves and mark ourselves, but does that even help? Maybe it does. What's your damage likely to be? 7 to 14. Tiny crit chance. Of course you rolled 7. Aye, aye, aye. <coughs> Excuse me. That thing does do a lot of stress, but apparently it's reasonably easy to dodge, so... What are you on? 3. So if we do this... No, this. You'll definitely be dead. We did crit this one at the back, even though it was a crit for the same amount. Of course you resisted the bleed because you're a skeleton. Well, that's fine. Another checklist item. Make sure your thing can actually bleed before you try and uh, kill it with a bleed. Hi, resisted. In your face. I mean, they're stacking up the bleeds, but like, you can adrenaline rush if you want to right now. Or you could just kill that. Just kill that. Sweet. Apparently Barbaric Yalp is a lot better than I give it credit for. Uh, did I not unlock your heal? Apparently not. Oh, you can only heal one person. Stress heal one person. But it is an actual heal as well, so that's kind of nice. I'm actually happy with that. It means we could have taken fewer torches. Can you not be the stressy ones? The stressy ones that we can't freaking reach still at the back. Snowman, do your bit. Uh, Miri, do your bit. Wow. They're basically the exact same unit. <laughs> Makes no odds. Two damage. So you're... Stop whinging. You can't actually hit anything, which is annoying. I mean, we could get rid of one of these. But that's going to die anyway. So I think what we do is we heal ourselves. Buff ourselves. <coughs> Excuse me. Get ready for this one to die. Oh, and you can do the, like the smite on this. So... That'll bring this forward into range, because when... Yeah, that's exactly what I expect to happen. But that might go first. Mm. So we did get a lot of stress. But not much damage. Well, thanks to Miri dodging all of these, it's not actually that much stress. Uh, but that could have gone a lot better. So the first thing that we're going to do is turn this off and this on. Then this unit can actually try and damage, maybe finish off a unit. If it's... Like, that bone culture could have been dead as a result of that change. Uh, and then, do you have... No. That's okay. And then everyone else has got what we want. That's fine. And then... You... Do that. A uh, minor antique in that one, but we did get some extra stuff. Don't forget we can stack gold up to 2,000 now. This is a very opportune moment to scout. There is a curio, and we could get some more money out of it, but 
I don't want to expend the stress of backtracking if I can avoid it. Um, mostly because there's plenty of extra dungeon. We might actually get a second one in this episode if, if we go fast enough, which I'm expecting to be the case. Obviously, stress is persistent, as we've mentioned before, and HP is not. So if we can reduce the amount of stress that happens... Excellent. And then I'm not too concerned, as long as we keep ourselves not dead. Wow, that's really good. That's the whole place. So in fact, we know there's only one battle left. Well, the two battles, but only one quest battle. You interact with that. More, uh, loot. more minor antiques is great. Don't really expect to find a major antique in, um, in a bag. But yeah, it happens. Seriously. Next room. There's not many curios either, but we'll keep cracking them open. Empty. See what we get. Surprise? Ooh, surprised. Well, we know what to do with that. We beat the shit out of this one. I really feel like I want to mark them. That was a bad. Oh, that was a bad time for you to dodge. I really would like to mark them, but. At the same time, yeah, that's a pretty bad debuff. Yeah, just two. Uh, I I want to do the damage. That that would be dead if that had hit. So I don't feel like I did the wrong thing. I guess we protect and mark ourselves to try and draw some aggro away from the other things. But these things apparently aren't really tempted by marks. So I mean, if you've read the books. I suppose at the time people were often tempted by marks, but these days it's a little bit less uh, relevant to modern politics. But let's talk about Groucho Marx, which is always relevant to modern politics. Let's uh, let's give everyone some let's give everyone some dodge. Force guard by ally is pretty good. In fact, I could force that onto uh, onto tanky boy down here. Just kill things. Wow, that's really valuable. But not everyone was particularly impressed, but that's okay. Just hit, just hit it. It'd be nice if this unit had that unit's self-heal ability, because being able to remove the bleed at the same time is actually quite valuable. As long as we end these fights quickly, I think we'll be better off. I did bring quite a lot of food. I didn't expect it to be quite such a short uh, run. Push on to the task's end. I mean, you can tank that damage. Just give you 4 HP and then you'll be sorted, won't you? In fact, you got 6 HP from that, so I can't complain. A battle with a Curio, that's good. So you're going to be opening all of these. Get in there, fiddle around, see what you get. A rare antique, that's what we like. That's 1,000 gold in our pockets. And hunger, which is why I didn't eat all of the food, in case you were wondering. Already been looted. Well, that's no good. Uh, yeah, a bit of, bit of torchlight seems like a good idea. We should use these hounds, uh, these doggy treats as well. For a short time. We'll have to see how short a time that is. If you'd like to dodge that, I'd be grateful. Okay. Dodge this one? Nah. Ellie knows what's up. So, we'll find out what they do on this very run. Uh, I think because I'm going to want to use... You are likely to die. You are not. I can't reach you. Done. Happy with that. Sometimes things don't leave corpses, and I understand that if they bleed or blight to death, they don't leave corpses. But also, like some other times, they don't leave corpses, and I want to know when. Probably should have attacked this one, but instead we'll do the dodge. The dodge buff. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm kind of thinking you should be at the front, actually. Maybe I should do that on the next turn. Because thinking about it, this unit here can be in either of the two positions. It doesn't matter. In fact, I might just step this unit back so that you can Iron Swan. Because that's the only one it can't currently do. Ooh, I don't like this either. Ellie might have to go in for some flagellation or something. Uh, Emma will have to explain to Ellie what that means. I'm evil. <laughs> yeah, nervously stab that thing at the front. Well, everything that's doing damage is dead, but that's not the thing I'm worried about, unfortunately. 
This is guaranteed to die, provided we hit it. And I think that's worth more than the alternative. At least this one's now in range, so it wasn't all... It wasn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, you're too close, maybe. Is that a stress attack? No. It's just a stab, so maybe that thing is now too close. Back to, the uh, to do the scary damage. Victory! We've got another torch, which is nice. I, I will continue. I want to open this. Now this de-stresses you, I believe. So I'll do that here. Ah, a buff. 13 dodge. Oh, I didn't eat the doggy treat. 15 prop. Well, let's eat it anyway. Oh, apparently we're not allowed to. Well, we don't need that. But we can walk down here. Let's um, let's go to this battle here. And then actually remember to use the dog treats. And I also want to open this, which is quite handy that it is what it is, because I brought a lot of keys. Right, we've got three rounds of damage and accuracy. So we will kill that. Not enough extra damage, obviously. What's this? One for three rounds. It's still not dead. Even by the end of all rounds at this stage, which is a bit of a shame. But we sh it should be in kill range of the Antiquarian, which is quite nice. Mildly salty, in fact, that the uh, the Antiquarian didn't get the de-stress from the suit of armor, because that would have been really helpful. I want to take her on the next mission. I want to do two antiquarian missions to try and get as much goodies, as many goodies as I can. As much, uh, as much money as I can, basically. Because we need to make up a lot for the fact that we lost Dutch. Who, by the way, we're going to replace when something valuable turns up. Something interesting comes back from the, uh, stagecoach. Right, so you're going to open this. Treasures. Wealth beyond measure. Okay, well, I don't want Rewarded this. To the brave and don't the want this. Alike. What can't we have for that? I don't want this. Take that. Let's go. We could probably fit another one in if that seems like something we want to do. We are victorious, but at what cost? I think that's just a, an achievement for doing a lot of missions. Yeah, yeah. Ellie, what have you got? What ails you now? Night Owl. That's, uh, that can be good, but it's not going to be in this situation. We're not doing any dark runs anytime soon. Not again. Not after what happened last time. <clears throat> now, you've all chilled out. That's nice. Like me, you are a part of this place. Uh, thanks for the um, kind words there, Mr. Ancestor. That was week 28. We've got 10 now, so that's 1,000 more than we went with. <laughs> this is very nice. Another antiquarian, though. Two more antiquarians and an arbalist, so we can get uh, we can get Dutch back. Let's do that. <clears throat> Shoot, bandage and pillage, the dancing steps of war. Duchia, Duchia. What colour do you want to be? Which is the duchiest colour? That one. <clears throat> Not allowed to gamble. Fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. So that will probably make them use things like the Iron Maiden and the rack of swords, things like that. <laughs> nice dodge. Good light resist. Right, what have you got? Sniper shot and a mark. They work together, that's nice. You've got basically all the things they wanted you to have. So you're coming with us on the next run. Uh, which we might as well do now. <clears throat> Let's see if we've got something suitable. If not, then I'll do something in the next run. We've got another ruins boss, which I'm probably not going to go for. A veteran medium. Medium. Short Apprentice. That's what we want to see. <coughs> Do it, excuse me. So you're going to be in either of the two positions that we want you to be in, basically. You're fine. In general. We could spend some money on our units. We should probably do that. I mean, I, I know I said we've got ten more than we came back with. We've got a thousand more gold than I started the episode with, which is good, because we spent a lot of episode on upgrading people. So we're going to want to look at upgrading Ellie. That stab is okay, but we can uh, increase the accuracy of it, if not the damage of it. The damage would be done in the blacksmith by upgrading the weapon. Uh, not using that. Could get away with that. Plus five dodge is nice. Yeah, we should try that. We have used it once or twice. In fact, 2 to 2. Guaranteed 2 damage and another 7 dodge. We'll upgrade all the way. 
And that now has a chance to crit, but I'm not going to spend that money because we want it to embark with. Don't forget the trinkets. Any antiquarian trinkets. Sort by class restriction. No. So. We might as well give you the heal skills thing because you do have a heal skill. And I'm thinking maybe if we have a, a buff chance or a dodge chance. Move skill. Stun resist. More protection, not too valuable. Okay. More resistances, except for disease. <coughs> oh, beg your pardon. Hmm. Hmm. We don't really use any of the skills. Except party buffs, which I, I don't think you can actually fail at. So, maybe this less chance of surprise? Since there's nothing for really for you to take, and having low speed is not a big deal for you. Second Dutch is going to have... Yeah. I think a bit slower speed there is fine. You'll level up eventually. We've actually got two of those, so we should probably sell one. Yeah. Yes. Always, by, always, by the way, just means that you'll sell every time you shift click. Which, you know, I know myself well enough to know that I probably shouldn't do that. Um... This, I think I like this combination because it gives us a good chance to go first. And then we can mark up and then on the next round, you know, deal with... Uh, actually, that was better when other people had mark abilities. So what we'll actually do is more accuracy on ranged skills. And again, lower speed, which is really annoying. Do we have any Hellion trinkets? We do not. In that case, I'm going to swap your positions as well. Uh, you're going to get... Do you have bleed? No, you're not using any of your bleed skills. Mm. So, we will give you... I guess... More accuracy? There's an accuracy trinket somewhere for melee attacks, which is what I want. Because... Uh, maybe it's a... Maybe it's a character-specific one. Oh, I didn't press this button. I'm going to have to press this button. Ah, shit. Alright, well, you had this and this. <clears throat> you had this and this. That wasn't too difficult. You... Less stress damage is fine. A greater stun skill chance is probably really good because we do use the stun. And the accuracy on melee skills. I knew there was one somewhere. And then you... You might as well have some protection. <clears throat> but maybe I want to give you some... Heal skill spells? Maybe that one? More HP, less speed. Not valuable necessarily. This is a really difficult choice. I mean, I know like I seem like I'm taking forever, which I uh, am. Like, what, what am I going to use? Let's dodge. We're going to buff that dodge anyway, quite considerably. And then... High speed and crit? That means you'll go last on each round, but I'm kind of fine with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's, de let's deal with this. Uh, we can use uh, Mr. Steve's skill here to increase the torch slightly and therefore we'll probably get away with taking only one stack of torches I did want to take one stack of food because you can get hungry twice even on as a short a mission as the one we just did uh, we'll take two skeleton keys don't really need the bandages and uh, two shovels so this is a, a lot more of a conservative um, purchase but we do bring holy water and bandages anyway which I think will help if we want to interact with curios like those racks of swords. Um, uh, and maybe the... Well, whatever it is that, <laughs> that Holy Water helps with, I kind of forget. There's a battle immediately. What are we doing here? Another 100% of rune battle. So we know how this goes. We wander around and we activate the curios with the... Ah, oh, there we go. You see, I'm glad I brought a shovel. We activate those with the, uh, Antiquarian. Their surprise, which is good. That means we can probably finish these off before they even attack. So you're going to... How are you so... Right. You get to go first always. So. Not always, but you've got a very high speed on the first round. And high crit. So what we'll do is we'll just beat the crap out of these things. I mean, that wasn't really making use of that high crit, but... It could turn, us a, turn the battle around in the clutch. So that's, uh, that's very valuable. 
This is three to five. Yeah, which puts it well in range of uh, Dutch 2.0. Who can't actually hit it. <laughs> Great. Because it's at the front. You can't shoot the front. That's the problem. Uh, debuff resist. It does do everybody, so that will de-stun everybody in the party. And that should resist the debuff. Uh, apart from the fact that that's Blight, not a debuff. Oh, we're biting again, are we? Okie dokie, then. You're okay. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Nice one. You actually picked up a kill. You might level up, Ellie. Don't let it go to your head. What are you on? Oh, you got 2 HP from that, did you? Well, I suppose you think you're clever. Here. I, I assume that we can't get more than a torch from a torch, so I'm not going to try and min-max by using the Antiquarian to use the torch, if that's alright with you. hope nobody really minds. Let's restack those. Oh, you, you get to go now, do you? Yo. Can we have less of this blight shit? I'm not down with it at all. I would like to get you a uh, zealous accusation, because... Having you go first and then not be able to hit both of these is... Like, these are going to both overkill completely, but... Or we could miss. That's fine too. I don't mind that. Let's, um, let's up our dodge. If we can dodge any more blights from those things, I'm going to be super happy with that. <clears throat> yeah. Just like that. Again. Ah, uh, you did it wrong. You did, uh, resist a debuff. Which is also fine. You're stunned, are you? Well, I was going to suggest we do, um... We try to shoot the front one with Dutch here, but I think what we're actually going to do is our Rallying Flare again. Which increases our debuff resist, and we already got one debuff resisted. But, uh, clears that stun, so we do actually get a go, provided that that doesn't happen again. Blight it again. That's kind of bad. So much for debuff resist. Chili beans. We could kill it. This one's got the web, which is a stun attack. Yeah, well done. Roll lowest. I mean, you had slightly less than 50% chance to kill, but you completely failed to... <laughs> Roll lowest. Blighted. Not stunned, though. Um... I think we just keep stacking up these dodges and hope to avoid any of the damage that we're getting from all this BS. This is going to kill everything, which is just too much. Let's do this. Didn't actually kill either of them, but it, it stuns them. It gives us a chance to maybe heal up on the next round. Or kill one of them and heal up anyway. Just want this one not to have a go, if that's alright. That web's a bit of a bullshit attack, in my opinion. And you've got this thing that can heal you of everything, and you can't even use it because you've not been hit yet. Which is just silly. Right, you heal... Yourself. <laughs> wow. Two to two and three because of the 15%. That's quite nice. I assume that's a 15% on the roll. I don't know how that works. Three is not 15% bigger than two. I can tell you that for free. Right, get us some stuff out of here, will you? An extra key was nice from that as well. I think we've already got one of those, but it's quite a nice trinket. It's a... A good amount of, um... Well, I suppose it assumes that your Vestal is going to flip out. Which is not necessarily the right attitude to start a run with, but... Okay. Free stuff? Yeah. These are really valuable. Obviously. This is... Bandage? Yeah. Totally right. So I'm assuming the, uh... Oh, you did what now? Oh, cool, sweet. I'm assuming the thing is that anyone else searching those wouldn't have recognised the antique for what it was. Or something. Hmm. Stress heal, torch. Stun. I think we stun one of these. Ensure that it doesn't get a, any go on this turn. Hope that they're quite slow on the next turn. And then try and kill these other two right now. Four is a good roll. Well, it's a perfectly average roll, but still a pretty nice one. And a crit. That's what we're looking for. <coughs> we didn't need it for the damage, but we certainly got it for the um, for the stress relief. Yeah, I was 
kind of expecting you to go first. But a bleed is fine. It could have been a lot worse. We'll just end this. That's also good. Plenty of these. So this is going to be a very lucrative mission. Which is the point, you know, we're, we're powering through these super quickly. And all we have to do is beat all of the room fights. Which we're not getting too many of, and there's plenty of curios on the way for the antiquarian to actually get something out of. Everyone, I think, is just going to be slowly depleting in health as we go along. Also fine. Yeah, eat. Everyone gets a little bit of HP from it. Uh... 50, 60, 70. I mean, <laughs> somehow you feel like the least valuable, but actually getting you a little bit of stress healing for successfully disarming the trap is also a valuable outcome that I really hadn't considered. Okay, so we'll try and surprise these ones. Boo! It's just dogs. Don't worry about it. Oh, we did surprise them. Good job. So I think basically we know that trying to stun one is not necessarily a great idea, especially if we can just kill the shit out of one, which I think we can. We can't. Well done. Fucking dick. Yeah, you pick up that kill, that's fine. Hopefully Dutch 2.0 here will... Uh... This has all happened in the wrong order. If you kill one, Dutch 2.0 will not be able to shoot either of them. So we're going to have to stun them both and then shoot at one. And hope for the best. And that was a really bad shot. So well done. So now they're going to get two goes anyway. Because they're going to be faster than we are. Because they have high speed. But the important part is that they only got one go each. Not two goes each. Try to give Tim rabies. But Tim's made of sterner stuff. Now we get to beat the shit out of them. Because we have enough... Uh... Does that cure bleed? I think it does. No. But it does it does buff your heals in future, which is kind of okay. In fact. Let's keep you alive, yeah? And then you can hit this. I felt it was probably worth a little bit more to get that extra heal on top of all of that. Than it was to get the kill before uh, Mr. Steve even had a go. Alright, so we've got a couple of things coming up, which is nice. Curios. We haven't got anything for that one, so I'm not going to uh, mess with it. This is anti-venom. I mean, I guess we should try. Yeah. Nice. I don't want to do that one because it's mostly going to be food. Or diseases. So if we don't have the herbs to... Oh, we did have herbs. Yo. I'm just going to... Uh, <laughs> walk back a little bit here. Let's just, um, let's just, you know, take our time. We'll, we'll do this. That's fine. There we go. That's okay. And there was the stuff. And then we can eat some food. Now, this is going to stress us out a little bit, but, you know, whatever. Only a little bit. Probably worth it for the amount of food we picked up, because that just healed us basically to full. Tim's the only one that needs any healing at all. Uh, to speak of. Some people have a couple of HP down, but Tim's the only one where the gap is mildly worrisome. Wouldn't even call it worrisome at this stage. Everything is getting surprised, which is really good. I mean, we have the trinket that stops us getting surprised, but it doesn't increase their chance of surprise. Uh, if we can't kill it, we should stun it. We're very likely to kill it. Good. Reason being, those things will multiply, produce another one, that will be the end of the world as we know it, and we will not feel fine. so clearly and Success very clearly in view. It is not a trick of the light, Wayne. Don't even pretend. We're gonna... Let's resist this. Ah, uh, it's sappy. You resisted it, which is actually kind of cool. Thank you for resisting. It's probably worth the effort, because these are worth so much. At least in quantity. They're not worth it that much individually, but it's nice to have them. Probably should have cranked on the torch. Didn't really think about it. Uh, right, they're not surprised. They have low speed, but so do we. At least we will do on the next turn. But I don't think we can kill them outright. Like, this is going to be 5 to 9 of 19. But they're the only ones we can hit. Which means perhaps what we want to do is mark ourselves. I think these things will mark, uh, attack a marked target. Because they have a mark. So I think we actually protect ourselves here. And prepare ourselves for those two firing. Now you will mark... Those do blight and those do damage. 
Harmless swipe. Yeah, that seems good. So uh, let's uh, let's focus on the ones at the back because that's your job. <clears throat> and you give everyone dodge. That one. Plus seven is a good amount of dodge for everyone to have. And that's going to stack. So we're going to be really dodgy by the end of it. Well, hey. Did I mark the wrong one? Because if that, no, it's not going to kill it. So that's good. Um, or we could try and stun these two. What are your resistances? 25% each. It's probably worth it. Even though it does debuff us by quite a lot. It'll zero out our dodge. Uh, I'm not bothered about the damage, to be honest. You know, you put you, you put it through the the old brain mill there, but in fact, what's going to happen is we're going to take HP damage from these, and these are going to blight us and apparently debuff us. Uh, that prey's already marked. I'm just saying. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's dodge. That's okay. We've actually buffed our dodge to more than we had originally. Now you can buff us again. Yeah, the HP damage is okay because, you know, we've only got this room and that room. And then we'll be cured. So what we want to do is just get through it without stressing out too much. Why is everything getting to go first, though? Let's, uh, let's have a chat about how that's a thing. So I suppose we just... Um, we could heal ourselves. We're not blighted. Ooh, a crit! That's really what we want to see. Look how low that is now. Let's do that. Oh, one whole damage. Oh, quaking me booties. You might have to eat something. Right, shoot this. Setting up that attack may have been more trouble than it was worth. But, uh... I don't know. Well, we did it, so... It is what it is. We'll have a look on this unit to see what the damage would have been without the mark, I guess. Two blights, that's pretty bad. Let's, um, let's buff our damage. Heal ourselves a little bit. Keep our keep ourselves away from actually dying, because that would be pretty awful. Everyone's on 14 dodge, so this is gonna be 21 dodge. And then that'll go. We'll have to top this up every round now. That's basically the maximum. So it's three to eight. I don't even feel like it was worth doing the uh, mark now, because it's 50% damage versus marks, and we still did eight damage. I guess that means we did. Like, four? We just shoot it. I'm not really in the market for min-maxing this anymore. Yeah, you're blighted. But this is probably the last battle, so we can leave now if we wanted to. Like this. Hoping for a crit, but you can't always get what you want. But just sometimes, you just might get what you need. Uh, let's try healing ourselves. Just keep on top of it. I feel like we're just basically going to heal for three every single time we heal, so that's pretty nice. So it's already taken two hits. Everything's taking two hits, so setting ourselves up with, uh, you know, the, the mark. It wasn't necessarily that great an idea. I mean, just putting the damage on them is seems to have been much more valuable so far than anything else that we've done. Could have killed that, but you didn't, did you? Uh, Mark Prey's fine. It's like Mark Prey uh, is a famous newsreader. We can't do shit, so we might as well do this. That's fine. You can shoot it though. <coughs> oh, I can't speak. I might have to get a drink of water in between episodes. That's it. Excellent. Take all. We can take all. We will continue though. You know what I said? There's, an obst there's two obstacles, but what we can do is we can step into this curio, open it with our own... Oh, fuck it then. <laughs> it's just a torch. We don't need it. It could have given us, I think, five gold? Yeah, five gold for a torch. So, yeah, big whoop, right? Can we skip this? I'd like to. Come on. There we go. I want to skip it, but what did I do there to open them all? Some sort of magic. Slow draw. Uh, that's okay. I mean, your speed is not really that valuable. If you had a huge amount of speed, then we could get everyone buffed a little bit with dodge at the start of the round, but I'm not too concerned. That's fine. That's, that's pretty good. That could be good. We've got two Night Owls at least now, but we don't really tend to do dark runs because of that horrible we monster that shows up when you try that. Why are you still getting 
an eternity. Do you just gain? We were oh, excuse me. With madness. Hiccuping. Do you just gain stress heal just for hanging out in town for a week? Right, let's get you two, who are now fine in terms of that, into here. Let's get rid of that. It's quite cheap to do this. Look, we just got at least 8,000 from that. I think 9,000. This is in bad humours. That's okay. That was a really good pair of runs. I'm happy about that. We've, uh, we've won a new trinket. Where is it? Here it is. It's a Manslayer's Ring. 25% damage versus human. That could be good for the ruins. Basically anywhere. Those, um, those highwayman type things can show up any old way already. We got anything that is duplicated? Uh, not really. Yeah, we've got two of these. So we'll sell that. We're now at 19,000, which is basically where we were before we killed Dutch in the first place. So I think that's a good position to be in for the next uh, mission, wherein we will probably want to be picking up some more uh, deeds down here, some more goodies. Another abomination. Uh, some, some more heirlooms in order to upgrade the things that we've been trying to upgrade since uh, time began. But that will be for the next episode. For now, though, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Um, I understand everyone's quite invested in this mission that we're all uh, embarking upon on a daily basis. <laughs> it's, uh, it's proving more trouble than it may be worth, but never fear. We will make it. We will beat this... Um, pesky 8 pounder we will beat these sonorous prophets uh, we must eat as well, apparently that's the thing so yes, thank you for watching thank you for being invested, thank you for commenting thank you for the encouragement and the tips and the all the people that wrote on the wiki so that I know how the antiquarian works uh, and I hope you enjoyed it I certainly have been and I will see you in the next episode good day